hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm going to be giving you part 27 of what if naruto returned different after his training trip remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all your friends your social media platform and also stay in tune because after this i'm going to be posting a brand new episode of what if naruto was neglected by everyone so stay in tune for that and enjoy and over on Anime King, I'm going to be posting a new episode of What If Naruto Was a Vampire. So stay in tune for that as well, guys. And later on, I'm going to be posting What If Aizuna Uchiha Was Naruto's Ancestor. So stay in tune for that as well. And remember, if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice and you enjoyed the videos on both Anime King and Anime King 2, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the Anime King family. And thank you for all of your help and your support guys, and yeah. Without further ado, let's begin this new episode. Start the intro. So the last time we left off, the war was hot, as Naruto's side is demons versus all of the summoning animals. As the war was raging, Naruto was wiping out all of the summoning animals, as Trish and the others told him to leave and go take care of his business, because if he continued this, they would have no one to kill. As Naruto bade them farewell and headed off, as Naruto arrived in a space where he couldn't use any of his demonic powers. This is called Silent Hill. As he met a human girl called Sibyl, which was a police officer, as Naruto thought that she was from a different dimension or something like that. As he then met a girl, she was the one that created this place but Naruto didn't know that. This place had all kind of creatures and monsters as Naruto and Sibyl took on them. They then arrived to a spot. It was a church where people were worshipping. As these people were really dark, they burned a girl to death, saying that she was a demon. The creator of this silent hill told Naruto that he had two choices, either kill the girl right now or help her with her revenge. As Naruto spoke to the girl who was lying down on the bed, he hated himself as having to go for revenge is a dark path and he didn't want her to go through that. So he stabbed his sword right through her heart, killing her, as he finally laid her to rest, as he absorbed the darkness. He then went into the church and massacred all of them, as the owner of this place arrived. Sibyl was also working with her, as she told Naruto that he passed. He was the first demon to actually pass through here. All of those church people were actually demons who lost their way, but Naruto was the only one to pass here. As she then gave him the exit. As Naruto headed off, it was time for him to face off against Mondas. So yeah guys, that was basically last we left off. You guys can switch across the place and check it out for yourself. So, let's begin this new episode, shall we? We start this at Mondas, castle outskirts. Don't give up my brothers and sisters, said a tiger. We can still win this if we bang. As the tiger brain was now on the ground. Shut the hell up, said Trish. These guys are really annoying, said Beowulf, as he crushed a wolf head in his hand. Yeah, they're getting boring, said Burial, as he let his fire consume a bunch of summons. But they were then interrupted by a loud thunder crash. What's that? asked Nevon. Meanwhile, at the moon country, palace roofed up. There is no response, Shikamaru-sama. Damn it, try again, said Shikamaru. Yes sir, as a shinobi went through hand sign, summoning jutsu, there was a poof but nothing. Damn it Shikamaru curse. How's your progress, Temari asks as she walked into the room. Can't you see, Shikamaru snap. Damn summons, just won't come out. As he grit his teeth, what are you up to Naruto? Is it hopeless, Temari asks. No, I still have some tricks up my sleeve, said Shikamaru, 
as he looked down from the palace roof. The battle was at its peak. I think it's about time I use one of them. Start operation, dead eyes, he said. Meanwhile, at Neji's camp, what do you think, the Mizukage asked. It seems like we're winning, said Neji. Naruto already told us to whip this country's ass, and that bastard Nara cannot fight against me. Besides, I heard their plan, and I got ready for it. Oh, you mean that withdraw thing, said me. Exactly, said Neji. Suddenly, someone burst into the room. Neji-sama, Neji-sama. What is it, said Neji. Enemy reinforcement from the east. Neji raised an eyebrow. Is he an idiot? He knew I heard his plan. So, what's our action, asked me. What do you think, wipe them out, Neji said. They will pass through these two mountains. Meanwhile, on the palace roof, Shikamaru's lip turned into a smirk. He bought it, he said. Is this a trap? asked Temari. Yes, said Shikamaru. Knowing Neji, he was saying at least double the man to intercept our forces to try and wipe them out. That is exactly what I'm hoping for. Why? asked Temari. You will see. They're almost there now, he said, as he then brought a radio to his mouth. Choji, initiate. Necessary, sacrifice stage. Roger, said a voice on radio. Necessary sacrifice, Temari asked. That doesn't sound good. As a enormous Choji appear behind one of the mountains. This is for my father, the one-armed Choji shouted, crushing the mountain with his hand. Watch out, Shinobi on both sides scream. It's gonna collapse on our heads. Run, as all of them start to run. Meanwhile, at Neji's camp, that goddamn bastard. He really sacrificed his own man. I guess I underestimated him. Huh. He surely wants to win this. I'm surprised as well, Mei stated. I never expected someone from Konoha to do such a thing. It looks like something Naruto would do. As Neji chuckled. Me, Naruto is from Konoha. As her jaw dropped to the ground, damn, how could I forget that? And since when have you started to call me me? Since last night, said Neji. She shook her head. Don't let it get in your head. I am still with Naruto. Yeah, I got that. Doesn't stop me from calling you me though. Fear enough, neji -kun, she said. As nice as that sounds, we really should end this battle, said Neji. So, you have a chump card up your sleeve, she said. As Neji smirked, as he pulled out a radio, is everything ready? Yes, the voice from the side. All right, let's begin. Operation True Art. Meanwhile, on top of the palace. Yes, Shikamaru said with satisfaction in his voice. You, you killed your own man. How could you do this, said Temari? This is war, said Shikamaru. And our enemy is one of the strongest men there is. We have to do everything it takes to defeat him, even if it means selling your soul to the devil. Temari's eyes narrowed. I am sure you will get your devil very soon, she thought. Suddenly, there was a huge explosion. As the explosion echoed around the area, of course it was a battlefield, so it shouldn't be so surprising. But it was, because it didn't happen on the battlefield. It happened behind Shikamaru Palace. What the hell, said Shikamaru. Status report now! Shikamaru-sama, a voice on the radio said, Our provision and storage has been destroyed. Damn it, said Shikamaru. How could this happen? We don't know, sir. Our security showed no breaches. That means this was done before the battle was even started. Because no one could sneak in this camp in the battle. So that means we have a traitor. Sabotage, Shikamaru said in the radio. Sabotage, a voice said. Sir, we have some more bad news. Our field hospital was also destroyed. Damn it, Shikamaru cursed as he slammed his fist on the table. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is pointless now. We have no medics left. Our supplies are gone and our command post is in disarray. This is hopeless. Are you going to surrender? Temari asked. As Shikamaru glared over at Neji camp. As Shikamaru started to have flashes of Asuma and Naruto killing him. No, I won't surrender. I will do what Asuma would have done, he said, as he jumped off the roof. Meanwhile, at Neji's camp. Oh, check this out, Nara is on the field. Really? said me, as she saw him. Hmm, 
Looks like the real fun's about to begin, she said. Meanwhile on the battlefield, Shikamaru was throwing his enemies around. Lucky I took my time to gather Sage Energy, he said. As he was delivering super frog punches after another, smashing enemies to pieces. Hey look, some, Jonin from Kumo Call. That's a Konoha, Commander. If we kill him, this battle will end. As the entire squad attacked Shikamaru. Damn, if I'm going down, I'll take you all with me. But then he heard, Kamaiaiki. As all of his attackers got blown away by a strong deadly wind current. Gonna give up again, said Tamari. You know, this is not an exam. If you give up, you will die. Yeah, I know, he said. As he then stood up. And I will never. Look out, said Tamari, as she stepped in front of him. Tamari let out a scream in pain as she was blasted several feet backwards. Tamari, Shikamaru shouted as he ran after her. But he had to stop as me was already in front of him. And behind him was Neji. I'll take this bitch, said me. I owe her. She destroyed my dress. Please do, said Neji. I will deal with this moron in the meantime. Shikamar turned to Neji with an enraged look on his face. Neji! Yeah, that's my name, said Neji. You traitorous bastard! Oh please, how many times should I say it before you morons will get it? I have never betrayed anyone in my entire life. Shut up! You turned on Konoha! No I didn't. I was against it from the very beginning. Huh, look at you now. You're nothing but Naruto's lap dog. How pathetic. With that Neji's smirk faded. No, that wasn't nice. But to tell the truth, I don't mind being his lap dog. Besides, it's not even like that. I seem to work in shadows while he draw all the attention to himself. You're a coward then, said Shikamaru. This is getting boring, said Neji. How about I kill you, as he took a battle stance. As Shikamaru cracked his knuckles. Meanwhile, Admondo's castle outskirts. Bang. As Trish was laughing. Another one down, she said, as she was blasting. Summons after summons. Meanwhile, with the main summons. Damn it, Uzumaki got out. What should we do? As a tiger spoke, this is the right chance. After their fight, whoever win, one of them will be weakened. And if Mondas come out, we will kill him. And if Uzumaki come out even better, we will kill him. As the other summons nodded. Meanwhile, inside of the castle. Ah, oh, Naruto said as he emptied a cola can in his mouth. Now that's making me feel alive. I haven't had cola in a couple of years. Stop lying, it's just been a couple of hours, said Yamato. What? I've been stuck in that Silent Hill place for years now. Huh, your time skill is really off, Yamato said. As Naruto stretched. Why is it so white here? Strange look for Overlord Castle. Maybe he loves white, Yamato said. You do love black after all. Yeah, but black is the original demon color. And where the hell is he, Naruto said looking around. Over here, said a voice. Where? Here, the voice said. Oh, found ya, Naruto said, pointing at Mondas. The enormous overlord sat in his throne, made of white stone. It looked like Mondas was actually made out of white stone as well. Welcome, Uzumaki Naruto, said Mondas. I'm glad that I finally meet you face to face. Likewise, Naruto said. I have watched your progress, and I must say you really did a number on these summoned fools. Thank you, O great overlord, Naruto said, with a mocking bow. But you know what? What, Mondas asked. It doesn't matter what you think, because in just a few minutes, you will be nothing but a memory. Mondas burst out into laughter. Many have said that before you, but I have defeated them all. What do you think make you so different? Ever fought a human for? said Naruto as he cracked his knuckles as he started to warm up. Actually no, said Mondas as he started to stand up as the entire castle started to shake. Whoa, said Naruto as he looked at the giant form of Mondas. I guess you'll be the first human I face, Mondas said. As Mondas changed the area, now the two of them were flying above the skies. Whoa, impressive power. You can even do that? Change our location like that. Of course, Mondas said. Well, are you going to change into your demon form or not, he asked. As two large wings appear from his back. 
as Nerd to chuckle. Can't wait to see my demon form, right? True. I am curious about your level of strength, Wanda said. Well, said Naruto, I guess it's finally time to show the world my true power. Are you sure? asked Yamato. There's no other way, said Naruto, as darkness surrounded him. Amazing, Manda stated. I can see such darkness in you. You're so much different from Sparta. Damn right, said Naruto. He was a human-loving weakling. I will reach heights that he wasn't able to reach. Then an enormous amount of energy erupted from Naruto's body. A few seconds later, Manda's eyes widened. How? he whispered. That's impossible. Surprised, Naruto said. Yeah, I can understand that you are. But that's not possible, said Mondas. You can't be stronger than you, Nurta said, finishing for him. To tell the truth, I was quite surprised myself. I thought because I never died. I simply don't have a real demon form. But that's not true, he said. In simpler terms, my demon form equal my release form. As he was floating in the sky as well. Two black wings behind him. Two metallic gauntlets on his arms. Two horns coming out of his head. And he was almost the same size as Mondas. The both of them looking at godly beings floating in the sky. You wanted to see the extent of my power. Now here it is. Bring it, Nurta shouted. It doesn't matter, said Mondas. I have never lost before. And I am not planning on doing it here. I will show you. The most important lesson, Uzumaki Naruto. With that, Mondas brought up his hand, and Naruto was immediately attacked by lightning. As Naruto pushed back as he started to fly around to dodge the lightning bolts. As he pointed his other finger at Naruto, starting to fire off a lot of lasers, as Naruto had to dodge lasers and lightning, as some of the lasers strike him and they hurt. That's not all, take this, said Mondas, as he created several fire balls from above and launch them at Naruto. Shit, Naruto said. As he tried to dodge, but one of the fireballs strike him right in his wing. No matter how much power you have, the gap in our experiences are too great, Manda said. Two can play this game, said Naruto. Hain. As he waved his hand, but nothing. As Manda burst out into laughter. Who's surprised now? He said continuing to laugh. I created this dimension. And he also created the rules. As a beam of white light erupted from his chest, as it fly and pierced right through Naruto's chest, his eyes widened in shock as Mondas appeared in front of him and grabbed him by the throat. Do you see it now, human? Everything is in vain. No one can beat me here. I am a god. As Naruto started to cough, as that coughter turned into a mad fit of laughter, are you insane? Why are you laughing when you're going to die? Because, unlike you, I am not afraid of dying. And besides, it's now my turn, he said, as he grabbed Manda's wrist. As Manda's eyes went wide as the world that they were in broke, like it was made from glass. What happened? What have you done, said Manda's? The two of them were surrounded by nothing but darkness now. What did I do? Nerta said. Welcome to my world, bitch. With that, a huge Yamato appeared in his hand as he sliced Mondas across the chest. Mondas gasped as he flew away to create some distance. It's useless, Nerta said. You have only bought yourself a few seconds. As Mondas fired off a wave of lasers towards Naruto, Naruto only smirked as his body disappeared from view. Where are you, Mondas said, looking around. Down here, as Mondas looked down to see Naruto below him. Napalm death, Nerta said, as he flew at his enemy as he was surrounded by a lot of fire energy. BLAST! As Mondas cried as he was sent flying back, as his armor shattered and fall off. Oh man, you look like an overgrown molecule, now, Naruto said. You will pay for that, Uzumaki. No one has ever lived after seeing my true form. Ah, I see. You cover yourself with that shell to look like a human, but you're just a disgusting freaking beast. As Naruto raised his hand, and I will extinguish you as blasts erupted from his hand, striking Mondas all over as Mondas cried out in pain. Thanks for the lesson, pal, Naruto said. As he dried Yamato right through Mondas' chest. As Mondas coughed up some blood, 
You think you have won? Stupid human? My power is far beyond that. Yeah, I have won, said Naruto. As Mondo's eyes went wide, as Naruto said, Soul Drain. As Mondo started to cry out in pain, as his body was being absorbed into Naruto. Meanwhile, me and Neji were standing together. Huh, you stupid, stupid old man, said Neji as he looked at the Tishikage, Oniki. As he was on, Shikamaru's side. You have chosen the wrong side. Uzumaki Naruto is a curse on this world, and I will make sure that I extinguish that curse, said Oniki. I will make you eat those words, Mei said as she was about to lunge at him when Neji caught her arm. What's the matter, she asked. Don't just rush into things. We're outnumbered right now. Don't worry, I am here for support, said a voice. As Mei turned to see Killer B, I thought that Naruto told you and Yujito to not intervene. Yes, however, I will not stand and watch my friends die. Meanwhile, at Mondo's castle, Naruto was in his human form as he was laughing as it was over. He absorbed Mondas. So, you actually did this, that voice. As he turned and saw Trish. Trish, is the battle over? Almost, she said. Mondas? Don't worry, he's dead. At last, Trish said. Suddenly, Naruto eyes narrowed. Trish, your arm. What? She said as she looked down. As she then gasped. So, that is how it is then. Wait a second. What is happening? said Naruto. Only what should have happened, Trish said as she fell down. Trish not to rush over as he was now beside her. What's going on? What's wrong? It's okay, Naruto, she said. I thought this could happen. What could happen? Tell me already, he said. I was created from Manda's power. So, now that his power is gone, I guess it's my turn now. You mean, said Naruto. No. No, not like this. As Trish raised her transparent hand and touched his face. It's alright baby. Everything's alright now. Mondas is gone. And you're still alive. I am just happy for you. She then took out her gun. Here. You always wanted one, right? No, not this way. I won't let you die like this, Naruto shouted in anger. There's nothing you can do. When you go back home, smack me once for me, okay? She was right. There was nothing he could do. But watch helplessly as her body disappeared in his hand. Naruto. Naruto, said Yamato. Why are you so upset? You saw people close to you die before. Yes, but never by my hands, Naruto said. As he then remembered what the girl told him in Silent Hill. That he will feel loss. But he doesn't feel loss. He feel like he want to rip someone apart. Hey, don't do anything so... But Yamato couldn't finish that sentence. Meanwhile, outside of Manda's castle, the whole thing exploded. Oh damn, said the dog, as he watched Manda's castle blew away. As everyone saw a giant Naruto. It's Uzumaki, the summons yell. He won. It's hopeless. Run! As the clan coalition army started to fled from the battlefield. As Naruto slowly shrank back down to his human form. Naruto, what happened? Nevin asked. It's Trish. She's dead. And it's my fault, he said. But why? Because Mondes created her. And when I kill him, she disappear. And I could only watch helplessly, he said. Nevin rubbed his head. Shh, you couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yes, it is. I, I killed her, he said. Look, honey, we will clean up here. You better return to the human world right now, she said. Yeah, we will deal with this mess for you, Naruto, said the dog. Meanwhile, at the moon country, outskirts. Damn, this is not good, Mei stated with her forehead rested in her palms. You think I don't know that, Neji snapped, pacing back and front. When Naruto hears of this, heads are gonna roll, Neji said. Suddenly, they saw a gate came up from the ground. Damn it, why now, said Neji. As Naruto came out of the gate, as it just flew back into the ground like it wasn't even there. As he looked, just as he did when he departed, but his jacket was missing, and his facial expression was different. Naruto, you did it? Mei asked. Yes, Naruto said. So, how was it? Neji asked. I don't feel like explaining right now. How was your battle? Is the country seized? How many casualties? Um... Well, Neji said. 
Well, we were winning, me said. But then Tishukage struck us from behind. And he also brought all of his forces. And our forces were already tired and greatly outnumbered. There was nothing we could do. Naruto narrowed his eyes. I see. So you have failed? Well, Neji said. We have some bad news. Said me. Meanwhile, at the field hospital, Naruto burst inside. Killer B, he shouted. As Killer B coughed, Naruto-sama, yo, he said. Don't speak, Naruto said. Who did this to him? He got into the fight to cover our retreat, said Neji. And he ended up fighting the entire army alone. He was fearing pretty well, but then the Nara hit him with something from behind. What's his status, Naruto asked. The medic nin hesitated. Answer me, Naruto said. He has a severe heart wound. And, Naruto asked. He won't last the hour. Slash. The medic nin's head fall off. Stop it, me said. You're just trying to help. Shut up, said Naruto. Naruto-sama, Killer B said. I told you not to speak. I wish to talk to you alone. Alright. Everyone out. But the people hesitated. Now, Naruto screamed as everyone walked away. What is it, Naruto said. I was waiting for you, Naruto-sama. What for? Oh, I asked Haksabi to keep me alive until you arrive. Why? Naruto-sama, please, you soul drain. Are you insane? Do you even understand what you're saying, Naruto asked. Yes, I do, said B. Fool, your soul will be gone forever, as well as the Haksabi. You will cease to exist, Naruto said. If it will help you to succeed, then do it. Please, don't let my death be in vain. Allow me to serve you one last time. As Naruto looked at B, are you sure? As B nodded. I see, said Naruto. As he placed his hand on top of his chest. As the people outside saw a light in the tent. As one of the patrols looked as he saw Naruto standing there and he said soul drain. As he saw Killer B's body disintegrated and flew, all of his energy flew into Naruto. As the Kumo Ninja eyes went wide, the Raikage must know of this, he said. At the Raikage's office, Raikage-sama, Raikage-sama. What is it? The Raikage asked, look at the messenger. I have an important message for you. Who is it from, Naruto? I don't know, I didn't open it. As Raikage took the message, as it was an envelope, you may leave, he said, as the messenger went off. As Raikage pulled it and opened it, as it read, Raikage-sama, this is Teikodo Kushikane, third squad leader and striker. I am writing this letter to you because I think you must know this, and also I believe everyone will try and hide this fact from you. Yesterday, your brother was severely injured in battle, but that's not what I am going to tell you. Your brother was fatally injured, he had no chance of survival, and Naruto-sama returned. So he has succeeded, said the Raikage, but his expression quickly changed as he read the next line. He returned and I saw with my own eyes, he drained Killer B-sama's soul. The Raikage jaw fell to the ground. This can't be right. This has to be a lie. If you're thinking that this is some kind of lie or something, it's not. You know me. I'm a loyal ninja to Kumo for my entire life. I will never betray my village, not even for Naruto-sama himself. And I want you to hear this from me, Raikage. The Raikage clutched his head in shock and pain. Killer B was dead. And Naruto has drained his soul. How is that possible? It can't. And there was a click. As the Raikage's eyes seemed to narrow for a moment as like it was like a fog just lifted i remember i remember everything he said as he growled who's the maki naruto meanwhile with shikamaru about time said shikamaru as a toad poofed in existence in front of him we don't have time for that the toad said i have very bad news from the netherworld uzumaki naruto has won shikamaru gasped as a king of the moon country was there as well his name was Mikuro. Oh my god, he said. Overlord Mundus is dead, and Uzumaki Naruto is officially the new Overlord. The clan coalition army is very disturbed by that. Our attempt to stop him failed miserably. We must rethink our status and our plan. What about Naruto? asked Shikamaru. He has returned back to the human world. 
they seemed very unhappy for some reason as well. He went into a slip of rage after destroying Mondas Tower. But I don't know what is going on, the Toad said. But watch yourself, he might take all that anger out on you. Meanwhile, at Naruto's camp, Naruto Yujito said as she rushed towards him to try and hug him, but he raised his hand and stopped her. Don't, he said. Is Konoha army still there? Yes, Neji said. The Tishukage is personal guards and probably someone else has already left. But the army and Shikamaru is still there. That's good, said Naruto. You're planning on wiping them out, May asked. Exactly, Naruto said. Great, I owe them one, she said as she got up. You're not going anywhere, said Naruto. Excuse me, she said. I said you will remain here. All of you will. Yujito fume. There's no chance in hell that I will let you go all by your... Shut up, Naruto said, cutting her off. You will all stay here so I don't accidentally kill you as well. As she saw flames burning in his eyes. As he then burst into flames. Meanwhile, at Moon Country Royal Palace, back with Shikamaru, Shikamaru Sama, what is it? Shikamaru asks. An enemy is approaching. How much? Shikamaru asks. Just one, sir. What? Oh shit, 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 Shikamaru said, as he had a good idea who that was. What is it? Shikamaru the king asks. It could only be him. It's Naruto. The king's eyes went wide. Oh my god, he said. Start the evacuation. Take your family and go, said Shikamaru. What about you, the king asks. I cannot simply lead my man to their deaths. I am staying. Then you will understand why. I will stay as well. No time to be stubborn, said Shikamaru. I am not being stubborn, said the king. I have to stay with my man as well. What kind of leader would I be if I run off at the first sign of danger? As Shikamaru gave this summon a message, give this to the Hokage, he said. If I don't contact her at the end of the day, I am dead and the country is destroyed. The summon nodded as he poofed away. Meanwhile, at Konoha, it's true, Tsunade sama. The slug said, Uzumaki Naruto was victorious and he's a new overlord. Damn it, said Tsunade. Shizune, she called. Yes, Tsunade sama, said Shizune. Get Orchimaru here, immediately, she said. And Shizune nodded and ran off. Some time later, Orochimaru along with his demon hunter group appear. What? All five of them said. Yes, Naruto has won, Tsunade stated. And he's back. Overlord? The nameless girl muttered. That is not good. The strongest I've ever fought is a grand demon. No, the slug on Tsunade deck said. If he has defeated the Overlord, then fighting Uzumaki is not an option. Then what is? Asked Sasuke. There are many ways he can be sealed. Passed away, stripped of his power, but that seemed like an impossible choice. Wait a second, said Orochimaru. You said seal. Seal like the Kayubi was, or seal like Mondas? You forgot that it was Uzumaki Naruto who destroyed Mondas' seal. As for the Kayubi, I really don't know. Naruto is probably 50 times stronger than the Kayubi right now. There isn't a simple seal that can hold off that kind of power. Well, that's just. Snade Sama said Shizune as she rushed into the office. What is it? We just received a letter. As she gave her the letter, what is this? I don't know. It was just there when I came back. As Nade opened it, as a ring fell out. As there was a note. Push chakra into the ring, the note said. You think this is some kind of trap? She asked. Hell if I know, said Orochimaru. Well, said Nade, as she did, as what the note said, and a black silhouette appeared in the room. What the? said Nade. You! As she was about to crush the ring. Wait! The Rankage said. I only wish to talk. And why should we trust you? This ring is nothing but a transmitter. It can't do you any harm. Besides, you will lose nothing from talking to me. Fine. What do you want? She asks. Are you here on their Naruto's behalf? No. I wish to join you. As everyone went silent. Do you really think that we're stupid enough to believe that? Said Snaddy. Wait a second said Orochimaru as he turned towards the Raikage what is this all about you guys didn't understand me I said I wish to join you not to switch sides what is that supposed to mean asked ah, Sakura I have never been on Naruto's side to begin with the Raikage said crap you fought alongside him called in Naruto-sama and Genjutsu Orochimaru said 
Yes, said the Raikage. What? said Sasuke. Uzumaki indeed came to me. He wanted me to step down and for him to be the leader. I denied this at first. We then battled. It was then I realized how strong he was and that was a long time ago. And recently, I got some disturbing news my brother was killed. And before he died, Uzumaki was soul drained and absorbed him, erasing his soul and his existence from this world. And everything came back to me. The Genjutsu broke. From me learning something that shook my entire world. Wait, soul drain? Like what he did on the Kayubi? Yes, said the Raikage. So, what exactly do you want, said Snavi. I want her to dead, said the Raikage. But that is not an easy task. You're telling me, said Sasuke. Well, he does have a critical option. And what is that option, Snavi asks? Return to his base in an instant. And where is his base? Here in Kumo. So, what do you propose, Snavi asks. Firstly, I will ask you to understand because I must take care of my people. Get to the point, said Snavi. Very well, he said. My point is, even if you manage to defeat his army or wound him somehow, he will just regroup. That is why. Trap him, said Orochimaru. Yes, I don't want to endanger my people. So when you are to learn about my betrayal, he must be killed quick. But you won't take our side in this war, asked Navi. No, the Raikage said. I told you. I need to think of my people as well. So if Naruto wins, no one will ever know that I got free from his Genjutsu. Meanwhile, they were talking. Naruto was standing in the center as all of the ninjas, along with Shikamaru at the front, were standing there. Hello, Shikamaru, said Naruto, as he was dead serious. But guys, let me end this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, turn that bell notification stay posted. Remember to share all of your friends in your social media platform. But for now, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.